16-year-old Serena Williams announced her arrival on the WTA circuit with back-to-back -back wins against Mary Pierce and Monica Sellis. At Wimbledon on day one, she faced Laura Galassa of Italy. Miss Williams to serve. Play. Love 15. Today she's playing against Laura Galassa, a very experienced Italian player. Fifteen. Serena Williams, a nice long swing, taking advantage of the shorter ball. Oh. Fourteen thirty. Miss Williams. First game. Having served a double fault, Serena succeeded with a very, very short serve, fooled her opponent. But if we look at Serena Williams, she's really, it's amazing. She's only 16 years old. She'll be 17 at the end of September. She has uh, hit the tennis world by storm. You can see she's 5'10", but as her sister Venus, who's taller, says it's uh, Serena who has the muscles. Her world ranking has gone up as high as number 20, which is incredible when you consider that when she started playing just last year, it was uh, around about 400 and something. So tremendous progress she has made. And I think uh, showing by the sort of tennis she played at Eastbourne, I think she'll play well here at Wimbledon, Joe. Yes, I think she's taken to the grass very well. She takes her time, she gets up the court, she likes to volley, and she does serve and volley occasionally. So it would be nice to see how she adapts here at Wimbledon. It's a little dull it's now, to serve. but it's still reasonably warm. Love 15. Well, not a particularly hard or deep first serve, and Serena Williams gets around very well on the backhand side. Love 13. Tremendous pace is generated by Serena. She really attacks the ball. Fifteen thirty. The wide swinging serve is one of Laura Galassa's favorite. 
She was lucky to get away with that one, though. It was so short. Thirty all. This is what Laura Glasser does best. Serving, coming to the net. She very cleverly places her volleys. I think it was a let she was questioning. It certainly looked as if it might have been in Fiona Edwards in the chairs answering, so. Thirty forty. Serena already getting herself a break point just with her power. both women out here great movement but oh she just loses her balance her ankle nearly went Deuce. from under her but she seems to be okay she did hurt her ankle Serena did earlier in the year advantage Miss winning Surprised that Laura Galassa even made that diving volley. Tremendous get on her behalf. <laughs> Advantage, Miss Galassa. Galassa has such quick hands and that she holds the racket very softly and that's why she picked up that half volley so well. hand is a side that she has some problems on. Sometimes gets away with it on grass when she sort of shovels it like that. But she's got to produce some good shots against the power. Net for surf. Advantage, Miss Williams. Glasser using the slice to come in, and it was a fairly deep approach, but Serena Williams really moving her feet well. She doesn't hold back on her shots, and she does uh, make some errors. Oh. 
the advantage, Ms. Galassa? Right in the same spot, the slightly greasy part of the court. She isn't the lightest of foot when it comes to her footwork, but uh, th that she was just changing direction and her feet just slipped under her. She fell a few times in Eastbourne. Williams yes. very powerful on that one, using a dry volley, taking her time on this and hitting it very, very hard. But again, I don't think she's, uh, well, she's being a little bit careful about her footwork and she keeps clearing her shoes, which sometimes grass can get into. Advantage, Miss Galanta. Game, <laughs> One game. A very good effort there for Laura Glasser to hold on to her serve after five deuces. Love 15. Second double fault. <laughs> 15 off. The wrong footing shot is a very good idea against a player who is as fast as Galassa. Thirty-fifty. Williams got up to that ball really well, and uh, nice swing, and she was on her way into the net after. Forty-fifty. Oh, she didn't even attempt to make that return. She was so confident that it was going to be a call of fault. Okay, Miss Williams. <laughs> Miss Williams leads two games to one, first set. It's actually an interesting uh, contest here between the tremendous power of Williams and the sort of finesse and skill and touch shots of Laura Galassa, player who we've seen many times at Wimbledon. It's her 12th Wimbledon. She's 30 now, it's rubbing her stomach, so definitely got a strained muscle in there. Her world ranking has been as high as 39, and that was back in 1990. And of course, when you think that her ranking was so high then, Part of it was due to the fact that uh, she got to the quarterfinals of Wimbledon that year, and she played a memorable match, it's certainly a match that I'll always remember, against Chris Evert when she got within two points of victory. It was an incredible match, that, and uh, she kept coming in and charging and chipping and charging against Chris. And uh, it, this is somewhat the same sort of Time. contest, somebody who's going to rush the net. And they've only played each other once on a very different surface in Sydney, a high bouncing hard court. And that time, Serena Williams absolutely thumped her. Galassa has had quite a few injuries over her career, most notably her shoulder, which she had surgery on and I think sometimes she does overcompensate for the shoulder and uses her stomach muscles a little bit too much for her serve so that may be the problem. Oh. 
Love 15. Glasser does move very well around the court. She sees what's happening so quickly and moves to the right place on the court. say that was indecision, a mind change. Very nearly a good drop shot. Serena, however, moves better forwards, I think, than she does laterally, so I'm not sure that it's really the place to pull her in. Forty thirty. Miss Galassi. <laughs> Two games on. Well, that was very well judged. Sometimes running in to serve and volley, it's hard to know when to leave a ball and when not. But Laura Galassi left that one very well that time. Fifteen. Fifteen. Very speedy hands from Lola. Galaza and 